at this level of life uh, from which we are working, you know, we work from the known to the unknown. And so I will use a term that is, uh, is familiar. So to make this analogy, the new presentation can be considered an advanced science of life in that it teaches methods that if practiced by all can lead to the same results. For example, doing the new song. And it uh, generally advises on the, the important but often neglected facts of life uh, which can lead to true happiness. So what can you say about the new presentation uh, and the worldwide educators as teaching the supreme science of life? That's for a, want of a, uh, for want of a better word, let me just call it a science. Uh, yeah, you could call it that. Uh, Paul did. He called it... Uh, uh, many people aren't familiar, but when Paul was, when I was there, it was uh, the ancient science of soul travel, A-S-S-O-O-S-T or whatever, N-E. He, that's how he termed it, which, uh, uh, you know, made sense. Uh, that makes sense. Um, I'm just, sometimes it just depends upon uh, what I see for what I present, because again, um, things are going to be, you know, the literal pull, uh, you know, is very strong here. And uh, people want answers and they want things figured out, which is understandable. We all do. Uh, but there's that, there's that better and bigger part that you can't figure out. It's always open. You know, it's like an open door where the fresh air comes in. So, um, yeah, uh, on the one hand, it's so, but then again, things become that. So, uh, you know, we can use that avenue, okay? We use many avenues, you might say, uh, but the main frame is the isness, and this will always be, uh, you know, questionable, you might say, because you can't figure it out, literally. And so if, if that, I would say, uh, you know, with all that's written disappears then all that's left is the literal side. So just like in a few of Paul's books where he wrote uh, about the isness, uh, where is it that, uh, you know, even in the corporation or whatever, even when I was there, that that was really focused on or discussed? And it wasn't. So, you know, we can bring in these aspects accordingly, but when we apply it, like some people have, you know, invented ideas and whatever and, you know, along the lines of astrology and all these things and uh, referring to the new as that. Well, uh, you know, this is where it gets confusing and uh, the new presentation, really what it is, it's really defined as and whether people understand it or not, it's really defined what the isness life is, the all is, the isness, that's it. And so, as we come down here, uh, you know, which is in this present form, uh, w again, we do use many avenues, like the walk with Rebazar, okay? So, we're walking here with Rebazar, but uh, the new presentation overall is with that isness and... Uh, uh, just like a big corporation has many sub-corporations, that's the idea, but the main corporation is what it is, and so uh, the main part of this is always that, and that becomes an offshoot, like the worldwide educators, etc. So uh, want to keep that in mind because things uh, very fast cover over, and, and they do, and uh, you know, it's really not about the new presentation so much. It's really about people who decide that it's something that it's not. And this is what happens. Uh, people start to be self-convinced that it's something it's not. So we, we're we from A to Z here with the new presentation. And that is, is that uh, for many people, hey, it's a cult. It's satanic. It's uh, It's an attack on others. It's whatever, but then there's those people that sincerely read the books and see that 
hey, it's wonderful, and thank you for writing these stories, and etc. So, you know, it's from one end to the other what it is, but this is in the personal area, and the realistic part, getting people to where they can see and understand what the new presentation is providing because it is just, uh, you know, it is a reference here, but the best reference to the isness. And so, uh, you know, that's a toughie. And uh, to get people there to sincerely see that, uh, to see the sincere reality of what is being presented. So, yeah, you can use the science or you can use anything you want. But if you're going to write about it or present it, uh, define it a little bit as to what it is, but not just say that, well, the new presentation is a science because we got some people that are saying that it's this or that. And, uh, you know, from health to uh, astrology and all these other things. And the reality of it is not that because it's like the sun shining. You know, we're on the earth. We have all these personal things. That's fine. But overall, uh, you know, the sun doesn't need anything that the uh, that us people need here because uh, uh, we're still in a particular position of uh, being limited to where uh, we decide to be unlimited. So it's very interesting how it is. And this is what's so cool about the whole of life. And that is there are no limitations or boundaries, boundaries but we just want to be real with it. So. The, also, the new presentation here is a corporation. Uh, there's an aspects of it that do business, collect money, distribute money, buy things, sell things, whatever. There's that business aspect of it. But that is still not the new presentation. And there is, uh, you know, that's just an aspect of it. Uh, and so, again, you look at the business world. You look at what Paul presented and what it is today. It's just the business it's just a rundown business. And so, again, it just depends upon, uh, you know, uh, what is what is going according to what here. And so uh, the, the world, life itself in this realm and in creation needs something realistic, realistically to relate to that makes sense. And the world is struggling. So we want to keep the ideas of it, uh, you know, uh, in a proper perspective too so and that's uh, that takes a responsibility for people to step up and do something that will actually do it and won't keep turning it into something that is truly not to where it just becomes like everything here distorted yeah so even the united states started off as a good idea but really it was it was planned deception from day one even though there were many people that wanted it to be so they had ideals about it but to stand real with those that's a toughie and uh, our position here is uh, is uh, struggle also because of uh, you know just how things are here but uh, that's the best part that's a challenge but yeah that's an aspect Charles but again uh, a lot of explanation has to be so just like you'd read a disclaimer or something uh, I do the best I can with the disclaimers on the uh, groups uh, and the first one is is that uh, you know Dwayne Ava are here as representatives of Rivzar and the real universal guides that comes first because that deals with the isness and then there are explanations along with that uh, you know but the individual really has to get involved because most people just say well it's a cult or it's a religion or it's some strange spiritual path or whatever again they're just going to be self convinced and. It's really too bad simply because if they would give, give it a chance, it's all for them. It's We're doing this for the world. Uh, we're taking on this challenge. It's all for the world. It's not about even what I write or decide. It's I'm just creating references like you're talking about, too, that people have a chance to do better than the struggle of this world. So, yes, Charles, go ahead. Uh, yes, thank you for asking. Uh, thank you, Dwayne. Uh, why I talk about it being a science, you know, uh, is because uh, science deals with uh, empirical uh, evidence. You know, um, if you follow the same methods, you do the same things, 
you will arrive at the same conclusions. And so uh, for the new presentation, if everyone, if people follow it, uh, follow what is said, you know, uh, faithfully, persistently, and uh, consistently, they will arrive at, uh, at uh, conclusions that work in favor, uh, that, that are in line with what you're saying. So it is not like uh, something um, uh, chimerical, something fanciful that cannot be realized, you know. Uh, if we just take it practically. Let's say you, you're talking about providing real food and uh, the guidelines are there, how to get this, uh, this how to, to grow a, 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 a pure food uncontaminated by the, uh, GMOs and all the like, you see, how to get real water, real air, see, so this, uh, these things is like uh, tutoring people about living, about how to live this life and uh, enjoy it, make it uh, fruitful, uh, helpful, and all the like. Then we start from that, from this known, and then to the unknown. Uh, the new presentation uh, through the worldwide educators can lead you to ultimate freedom, to real freedom. If you sing the, the, the new song and uh, uh, you read the new books consistently and persistently, you will step up your awareness. That is a fact. And so that is, it is in that direction that I called it uh, a kind of science, you know, because science is based on empirical evidence, you know, for, for lack of a better word, you know, Paul, like Paul Tritcher said, we're expressing these high truths in a language of opposites, opposites. So uh, we cannot do better than what we are doing in terms of language. We just have to use what is here, even if we try as much as possible to be very pure, you know. That is it. That is in that direction I was talking about it being like a science of life. Okay, I would, uh, <clears throat> I would, sh I would share something um, that my, my sister, my older sister sent to me. And uh, she, she's, she's looked at, uh, it's a write-up by somebody, and uh, it talks about religion as being the bane of Africa. Uh, let me just read through it. Uh, if it is the bane of Africa, I want to think that the new presentation can be a blessing because uh, people have started awakening and they are seeing uh, clearly that uh, uh, religion has been a, a setback in their lives. Okay, let me read out uh, what she, she, she sent to me. Africa is currently experiencing another form of slavery through Penteco Pentecostalism. We are now mentally lazy and our ability to reason scientifically has been incapacitated. Uh, the write-up below gives a vivid reality of the way we think. Some African pastors won't talk about Usain Bolt or, Se or Serena Williams. Some African pastors won't talk about Steve Jobs or the young people in Silicon Valley reshaping our world. They won't talk about young American scientists spending endless hours in search of a cure to, to a disease that's predominantly in the tropical African relig uh, region. Some African pastors won't talk about uh, Chimamanda Ngozi or Ben Okri. 
In every corner of the world, there exist young men and women who have defied all odds and become successful through hard work, creativity, and dedication. Uh, some pastors won't talk about them. Neither will, will he ask his members to emulate the spirit of these individuals. He would rather talk about Sister Agatha, who got a job she was not the most qualified for because she prayed and fasted in line with the church program. Or Brother John, who became a millionaire because he used all his salary as a seat in the church. Or Papa Miracle, who laid his hands on and three of his children got admission in the university. Or Mama Esther paid her little tithe and her business started growing everywhere across the nation. No business plan, just boom, everywhere. This has led to a new breed of mentally lazy young people who now see God as a rewarder of mediocrity. To some pastor, the only way to prosper is by paying your tithe and sowing seeds in the church. So they will never talk about those who have, through hard work and dedication, placed themselves on the world map. No, the African, only, the African God only blesses the first 30 people who rush up to the altar to drop uh, 100,000 naira a seat. The African God abhors hard work and creative thinking. He only gives to those who sow seeds and offerings, uh, give offerings to the church. And those who shout, I am a millionaire, a millionaire every morning and do nothing the rest of the day. Uh, you want the Almighty to come down and help, and help you use talent. He gave you, um, he gave you and blessed you be, because you are going to church to shout, Daddy, I received it. Uh, guess what? The joke is on. Can someone tell these jokers that irrespective of your creed, faith, or religion, blessing, blessings and favors follow once you start using your talent and become useful to your society as we embrace the new year? Okay, that is, that is it. So I've, I've read this to, sh to show you how, uh, in fact, uh, this vacuum that is being created in Africa, in the African mind, uh, could be filled by the new presentation uh, if, uh, if we work hard enough to, uh, to make uh, the teachings of the new presentation available to the public, you know, it will fill this void. And uh, uh, this is very timely because the new presentation has just surfaced in the new nowness and uh, th there's this awakening. Uh, I don't know. Uh, whether Dwayne has some can make a correlation between this awakening and the new and the, the the advent of the new presentation. Well, I'm going to refer to the article you wrote there, and I would suggest that you follow up with this individual who wrote it because it's uh, I would say it's very good, very good observation. And uh, to many, uh, to most people that are with the church and whatever, I'm sure they're going to be. Uh, some of them will be inspired because, uh, yeah, it reinforces their b belief, which creates this overall consciousness of agreement uh, to the downside of things. Uh, eventually, uh, for the moment, it looks good. Uh, the prosperity on the earth, uh, a poisoned planet, etc. And we know who the gods are, supposedly, the people look to. Uh, it's an agreement with the reptilians is all it is. And yeah, they will shower people with money, make them look good, etc. Uh, again, referring to the article and the individual, and I'm sure there's many more. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of views. And that is, is that I would say this person uh, has the courage to step up and say something, has the awareness also to see what's going on and sort it out because there's a fine line there. 
between uh, accepting, uh, you know, the so-called uh, prosperity that these people have, and again referring it to uh, their God. This is what they do when they're when it's prosperous. Uh, when people are prosperous in religion, they usually refer to their God. When they're not, it's usually the devil, etc. And we all go through that because it's cause and effect here. But this is why I've created so many areas uh, with the new presentation to cover these things to where, you know, here's an individual seeing this and, yes, uh, seeing uh, as an idea what we're doing. And, yes, there is a struggle here. There's a lot of hard work and et cetera, and that's fine. I've I've always been fine with that. And, uh, and so these are... These are the areas that we're already covering uh, with uh, the new presentation, especially with the Worldwide Educators and the University, the Solar Vessel Project, trying to get something that makes sense for this world, uh, real food, real water, real air, etc. cetera. Uh, that's a huge struggle right there. And it's just interesting to know, too, this individual, uh, he's right on with the business world that is, that is basically destroying the planet. And so there are ways to do business that do not destroy the planet, but for the most part, uh, maybe this one gal, I don't know what it is, I'm just guessing, maybe she started a cookie business and she's selling cookies. Well, as an example, I've seen this before. I was reading an article here a few days ago about some people, they're involved in Hogue Hospital. It's a hospital here in Orange County. And they're spending a lot of time with the Hogue Hospital, and they've made millions, they're millionaires, from their little uh, cookie factory. Okay, so what are they doing with that? You can make a lot of money. I could make a lot of money doing cookies. What is the end result? And that is uh, you're selling white flour and sugar to the masses to where they have diabetes. So I can see this individual's relationship. Again, it's business. It's related to the business world. And even the religions, uh, you know, they are a business. They are ground one. Uh, they are one-dimensional businesses, and they use the God idea. So, I, again, uh, I would see if you could create a relationship or just uh, uh, how you could correspond with this person and other people like that. When these things come up, I usually jump into something because I see that... Uh, uh, you know, he's very aware of what's going on, and he sees through uh, the fallacy of using the belief idea uh, with the business world aspect also. So, again, this, you know, it's more than evident what people or institutions demonstrate. And in, in other words, yes, he's, uh, he's seen that, uh, uh, you know, awards and uh, focus and attention are given to those that accomplish something in the business world because that aligns itself with the church realistically. But they throw the belief idea in there that it's God that's done all this, etc. Well, what about the rest of the world that's being destroyed? Uh, God supposedly made that is, is uh, where people don't mention that, just like he says. So uh, I would say that's very good. Thank you for bringing that up, Charles. Okay, Jante. Thank you. Uh 